Hey everyone, last time we were going on this route to fight trainers, well this time we're still going down the route to fight trainers. <laughs> well, this time I hopefully we'll get done with this route, there's then four more trainers left, and then we'll easily go to the cave, Mount Moon, but uh, Mount Moon might take until the end. I should be on Mount Moon, but I shouldn't be done. Hopefully I should, <laughs> but with my luck, these last couple episodes, well, the last two episodes, I don't know, it really depends, but as we keep going, we should at least get this over with on this route, but Mount Moon, I will, and I, well, I can't promise, because <laughs> with my luck, I don't know, um, I should be done with Mount Moon by next episode, but I should be at least there this episode. I promise that. Um, you can say, well, um, this train has four, really. It's going to be kind of easy for this one. Um, got to know um, on X and Y this time. Uh, I'm, I've breed a lot of Eevees for each evolution, and then just easy. Jeez, uh, it's hard as hell just to get the fairy type easy. I mean, yeah, the other two are almost similar, but you have to fill up the meter of your EV, like the um, the filledness, the enjoyment, and the um, last on the camera. But um, if you play an X Y, you know what I mean. And you had to play with it, pet it, all that stuff, and feed it. And you had to get that full and level it up at least once and it'll evolve to that. Or, uh, I know it's almost similar, but that's, I've seen, there's other ones where you can also do that or have it, have a fairy type move and have it zoom out, but from seeing that, I, I've seen people tell me different things, but I'm going to try this out, and if I get an Espeon or something, it happens. Uh, I'll just trade it. It's not a trade. I'll trade someone who doesn't. I don't do the wonder trade. I wish they would give you an option to like, oh, here's a Pokemon that I want, and it would give me that Pokemon if someone throws it at any time. And I wish they'd do that, but a lot of times I get a... When I did the wonder trade, I always got a Pokemon that I already had or didn't want at all. And there's actually one time where I didn't want a, um, that bunny, I forgot the bunny or whatever they're called. And I end up getting another one, but just weaker. It, I sit here and go like, wonder trade's not wor working for me, I'll trade with someone who, who will. Because, uh, I, I'm glad that I got the internet, so it helps me a lot to find people, but a lot of them just want to battle, they're, they're doing the breeding and all that crap already, but I don't want to battle, I'm, last video I told you I'm the breeding type, I'm raising and breeding too, but a lot of times how I get my Pokemon, I breed to get the first evolution because a lot of times later on you just get the second one you don't get the first one anywhere in the game so I breed them to get the first one and I won't release them both but I'll I'll, I'll evolve them all the way on both and which I'm glad one of my friends got Y which I could trade for Pokemon that only Y can get and I can get and we can trade back and forth helps me a lot I don't know why I went to Pokédex on um, my Pokémon and trade in Pidgey. So at least, um, hey, you're not wearing shorts. Oh no, I'm not wearing shorts. Oh, sorry. We can do better. You only got one Pokémon. Sparrow. Well, you know, I got a Peach. Well, a lot of people, and there's another thing. Um, a lot of people say Sparrow better than Pidgey. Okay, I'm glad for that. But I've always used Pidgeys, and I don't know. I've tried to use a Sparrow. It doesn't work really well with me. 
And in my opinion, I like using Pidgey more. Because one I'm better with, and, and I just. I tried to use Sparrow probably once and didn't work very well with me, and then, but when I use Pidgey, it, it, I'm a lot better with him. And I got level 13 Pidgey now. Sparrow's still higher, but my Pidgey kicked butt. But let's see what else. Uh, let's keep my Pidgey up front. They're almost cut up with Squirtle. And then Squirrel's going to be fighting again on Mount Moon. But we're almost done, though. I'm going to by not letting people see you. But I was bad you last episode, so don't argue. But now we got fight. Uh, we got... I remember there's two more fights left. And then we're, we're done with this route. And then we go to Mount Moon. It's just yeah. and oh okay. Let's just guessed again. Come on, Pidgey, one more. And boom, and a critical hit. Then we got one more, and it's gonna probably be a meta bar, which it is, and it's gonna send me out to these. And I'm just gonna disgust constantly and really annoying. It would really suck if they, if someone actually did the hot and the hack wrong and put a level 100 metapod in the battle at the beginning, like right now. Like it would be a level 100 and like you would have a level 13 and we're just constantly hitting it. And then. Right when you get to the end, it was like super potion. Come oh, on! <laughs> I would really, really get mad. I loved, um, uh, uh, there was a couple parodies I've watched in a bridge. Smosh one does a good one. I, I'm not as big a fan as I was with Smosh, but. It, how could I say? Their videos got less funny, to my opinion, when I, as I got older. Again, they're for teens, really. Can't say kids, because there's some stuff they, whoa, so really teens. Um, another one, uh, I think it was First Kid Entertainment. They do a great abridged series. It has quirky humor. Some pop culture and a lot of I love how they made Brock more of a that pedophile kind of. It, it's funny and it it's, doesn't seem too out of place because you got to think about it. He, he wants to be a Pokemon breeder and you got to think about it. He, <laughs> it kind of suits his dream kind of pretty well. I don't know. So, uh, but and then. Ash is a idiot, which kind of, at some point I do understand <laughs> the fact of, and I hate when that happens, to you what you're seeing, um, uh, for, uh, Missy, Missy, how can I say, is normal, but she's, um, as a psychotic, or, uh, I forgot what you, Call it. Uh, can't say split personality. Um, <laughs> uh, well, she basically um, has these or crazy kind of things where she thinks her sisters are there or something. And she goes crazy, and it, it's funny as hell. And I wish this Jigglypuff would stop doing this in. When it ended, it. and it wakes up and you disable. Well, too bad you put me asleep so I couldn't use a move. Let me use bubble, take you out. It gets really annoying. You can't use it because you're disabled by tackle. Critical it, it takes you out, and I'm good. I'm happy. 
Thank you. She's the most annoying trainer in this route. And now we'll just go forward, and then uh, there shouldn't be any trainer, so go, keep going. You'll be good. Um, don't worry about him. Uh, we'll go back to him later, and we'll, we'll see what he does. Um, go to, see, I didn't go back, because there's a Pokemon Center right here, because it'll be with Mount Moon. I'm glad, because we're getting Mount Moon now, and I can I'm more likely going to put Squirtle up front for right now because a lot of the counters are going to be rock types. There are Zubats, but I don't know, like, lately a lot of times I don't run into Zubats. They're always like, um, Cheetah Dude. Because, yeah, I run into Zubats, but that's later into the game when I run into them. See, all these sets is that Serenal from, Serenal takes a lot out of you. There's the thing about that, there's no way you can come back unless you have fly or cut, and I'll show you that later where you can get it. Now let's go in. Now well, there's an item over here. See? Um, I will show you all the items. I'll show you pretty much everywhere everything is and all the trainers. It shouldn't be really that hard. Really, I would run into a Zubat even after I said I won't run into much of them because, with my luck, I always run into Dude Dudes. But with Tindo Logic, Tindo Logic, and with, well, I can't say, why did I say Nintendo Logic? That doesn't make any sense. I mean, Let's Play Curse would always prove me wrong. I know it said over and over again with Chuck Connery's friends saying, you know, whatever he says. He started it. I don't care. I'm gonna use it because it is Nintendo. It is. But still, I will battle every single one of them. Show you where all the items. If if there's one hidden and I missed, I'm sorry. But I'll try to do everything in my power to show where they are. And of course, it would be a vacation, and it would be a weedle. But guess what? I am a Nidoran, and it's a poison type. And if it uses poison, thing, it won't hurt it that much. So I am good. And it would use slingshot, but who cares? Of course, poison thing, and it's critical, and it only does one damage, but I'll scratch your eyes out. <laughs> Oops. But, uh, there's a lot of things that. I like this cave better than the other one. Yeah, one that their Pokemon are weaker and cave is not as long and annoying to go through. Uh, but by that time later on in the game, that other game you gotta get through, you would have Pokemon probably strong because uh, Poke MMO, the one I started, in. yeah, I might do a video of that, but. Telling you right now, Pokemon won't be good and it might be slow, but still, I might do it with a friend. I might do it with even people who just, if you do, leave a comment below if you want to or or inbox me. But the only way you can do that now is by um, uh, subscribing and me subscribing, which I think is kind of stupid. Another thing is YouTube. What's going on with your higher ups? I really want to know what's with all this channel thing kind of stuff. It's more if you can't personalize your channel now. Yeah, you're going to be like, oh, but you can put your article and channel art on there. Oh, well, great, because you know what? The first time you did it, I could uh, change the color personally. Um, the, uh, I could personally what videos I want on my front yeah you can still do that but um, and I can see what my friends subscribe to my friends subscribe to and all that stuff but now it's more of the really more of you what you want on there not what we want and then I'm gonna get a bunch of people that are behind YouTube on this going no you can't Listen, it's great. It's all customization. I'm wondering how much they're paying you. 
Really, how much are they paying you just to say that? Because I really want to know. And I don't know why I'm putting pictures because that. Though Bed Biggie's not good with the right touch, but again, this is a trainer. Won't have rock right types. But they want to make sure. But it was like a 50 50 chance that if I ran into a wild type, I would have switched out. But Kafari, no. Not going to be on my team either. Even though it's a good type later on, still not that easy. And then I, you probably by the end. I'm going to get a lot of criticism about what my team's going to be. As a lot of them are, they're probably three, three or four Pokemon that a lot of people use, but the rest are just, nah, I don't feel like using this guy. He's weak. Well, I'm not in the competitive league, and these are the Pokemon I use, and I satisfied with them and I've used them over know which moves to use for them and it doesn't hurt me because I could beat the game with them why would I want to change it I do go through the game using different times but this is the team I use for if I need to go through it good fast and I know how to beat it really good but still and very stop using pound it gets really annoying real fast Probably gonna have to switch because it keeps using sing, which gets really annoying real fast with it. It's kind of like Jigglypuff, where it just hits you, hits you, wake up, sleep, hits you, just sleep. <laughs> it's one of those that gets really annoying. Good thing I have mid rant that doesn't affect me. It's gonna poison and try to poison it, but no point. I'll do scratch. But, um, there is maybe, I've got a couple of friends who, um, I'm going to just tell you right now, I might never mention again, or might never do, but still, I have friends who are playing the same game, and, um, are playing through the game too. At the end, we're not going to do this, uh, connection battle, because, there's no point, because you guys would probably not like it. But, uh, what we'll do is show you our Pokemon, and then we'll tell you who won what. And, like, you know how, like, Pokemon Stadium show the meter, their bars, or whatever, showing it, whoever dropped the Pokemon, or whoever fainted in the battle, we'll show that. But, um, a lot of the times, I will, um, we'll show it, <laughs> we'll basically show, we'll, give you a bracket of who but um I'm getting some friends online and um in real and friends in real life but uh trying to get as many as I can. I will try to get sixteen if I can. Um and uh it'd be basically like a tournament and we'll show you who won, who lost, all that stuff. Um, but it's one of those things where I like the idea, but with not having so many viewers, because this is a starting channel, and I just started this, but I don't think I will have that many later on, but still, it's not hard to try. Um, Great Pity still sleeping bad, and we need to take it out, but to use um, wait, slow. But we gotta wake up Pidgey up, and we'll probably have to heal it after this battle. I know it's like going back, but still, might as well. Because we're near the entry, and it won't be that far either. But later on, if I get halfway, I won't go back until the end of the video. So it'll be good. You guys will get it. Come on, Pidgey, wake up before you. Like, it's your life. And you faint. It's critical hit. Come on, Pidgey. Come on, Pidgey. Come on, I wish there was a build here on Smosh where you can kick Pokemon. It would waste, well, even better, just use it to kick and it will waste two of your turns. They can't go to sleep and you, Pokemon can't put to sleep. I think that would be a great idea. But, again, 
it'd get really annoying if they do it, but still. Come on, Pidgey. You can take it up before it takes you out. Hopefully. But this point again, Pidgey. Come on. But this point with Pidgey. Come on, Pidgey, don't disappoint me. There we go, Chachi. Oh, come on. I forgot to go here. But, Zubat, no. Go away. Come with the Zubats, but I still got my Pidgey out, so it won't affect it that much. So we're gonna have to come on. No. <laughs> uh, Zubat. My opinion on Zubat. Uh, I think Zubat will be is okay, but when it becomes Golbat, it becomes really good in my opinion. I use it in um, my Ruby Sapphire and Emerald parties, and he was good. It's it might not be good as you when you get it, but I got late in the game, so it kind of helped. And I missed the effects, but still, um, my opinion on Zubat, okay, but when it evolved, it becomes really good. And the Cheetah Dude. Cheetah the Dude, no, I'm not going to use it in my party. It's not really the Pokemon that I like using, but still, it, it won't hurt, but still. <laughs> uh, we'll heal. Do, do, do. And we got a Pokemon here, and we go back to Mount Moon and get through it. And uh, I might, at the end of videos, I might show the progress of each trainer. That's going to be in the tournament. If someone comes in later, and I'll show at what point uh, the point they're at and. Uh, what they have and um, it might like for me I have to record and uh, show them where I'm at but like the other guys they might be like three four badges ahead of me and um, to me I that really doesn't matter to me because they'll be ahead by the time they get there and um, put the term me going like, what happens if their levels higher well, the default level will probably be 50, 50 or 100, probably 100 because um, each one will have just level up to 100, and everything might be, I really want to just kick all their butts because um, I might not be competitive, but amongst my friends, I'm competitive. All my friends I'm competitive with online. Phew, I don't really care. But when it comes to my friends, I'm like, I'm gonna kick your butt. I'm really that competitive with monks friends. I'm like, I'm gonna catch this Pokemon, level it up, and beat the crap out of you with it. But really, I just hopefully get through this. Cause um, and I beat him level 15. I should switch in now since um, Pidgey's level 15 it would help. And Pidgey come back, go in or in, female. Um, let's use Scratch for it. I used Tail Whip. I wish it might be any Tail Whip since it sounds like you're swinging your tail and whipping it. I wish it was more of an attack, not a move like that. But it sounds like an attack, but it's not. Which a lot of the moves that's a lot of moves that sound like attack aren't. And it's gonna switch up Zubat, which I'm gonna just keep my nose in. And I'm gonna use Scratch. It's level 11, but it's gonna be easy to take out. Gonna use it's confusion. Come on, the ah crap. Ah, uh, crap, I'm gonna have to switch out. Let me switch. Get around female, come out, go Pidgey. 
Copied. Copied. I don't know what you're saying. It won't take much. It'll only take one. And then I'll just get a little bit for all you discuss. Heard it a lot. And boom. Like I said, it's a super sound, but if you fail, you discuss, you can't, you lost, and I win. Goodbye. And yeah, you blew it, of course. At least, um, we got through there kind of fast, but still. Another cheater dude, really. Level 7, it's gonna be easy, but I'm not, easy. I'm not gonna fight it right now. Uh, let's switch out parties, because right now I'm the kid the highest level. Uh, let's put Squirtle up front. Uh, but uh, for next time, on uh, Pokemon Blue, we'll get through Mount Moon. Hopefully, um, if you like this video, um, like and subscribe. Hopefully, um, you guys always, if you don't, just leave comments or something, or talk about something at the comment screen. I know I'm not going to get a lot right now, but still, leave some comments. See you later.